Well, Coach, congratulations on our conference championship. I, I know this is four in a row, but uh, does it mean the same as it always has? Oh, it means absolutely as much. Um, every year is different. Uh, for us, it's really only my second team's fourth. Um, and, and yes, every year is, is different. The girls uh, have different challenges throughout the season, and, and this year we had our own. Uh, very happy with the way the girls played this weekend. Uh, it was really uh, a challenge, and when it came down to the wire, we're happy with the outcome. And again, so proud of the way these girls came. Yeah, I just talked to, to Morgan, and she said it was a little tougher to play the nine holes on consecutive days and not play 18. Is that something you had to talk to the team about after coming into it? Right, right. Well, we feel like we're a, a hardy team that we can play well in, in the bad weather. So, uh, you know, we, we'd like to continue to play whenever the weather is uh, a little tougher. Because um, we, we feel that mentally we can overcome those uh, those challenges. And uh, so after we knew that it was just going to be nine holes and nine holes, um, we said to each other, okay, that's the way it is, and, and we're going to play each shot just like you would any other day, but it is what it is. And, and we knew that uh, coming into the last day, if we were in a position, that uh, the girls' experience would help out, and uh, it did. Uh, this is probably the closest um, the Women's Golf Championship's been through two rounds going into the last day in, in some time. Um, does that make it even better for your girls to want to wanna go out there and compete and not have that cushion and maybe fall back into a lull? Right, yes. I think um, yeah, they were never complacent about, about their position, no matter what the spread was between first and second in previous years. Um, but this year, it, it definitely peaked. Um, when it starts getting closer to the end, I mean, you've got some pressure coming in. Um, that uh, that experience helped quite a bit, knowing that there were more than one team, a couple teams right around you, uh, forces you to have maybe a little bit more of a higher level of focus. And uh, our girls rose to that occasion and did well in the back nine today. Um, which is great because um, they can go the other way when uh, you're not familiar with the situation. Talk about Morgan a little bit. Uh, individual championship, oh. that's back-to-back, -back, I believe, for, for Carol individually um, the past couple years. Uh, talk about her a little bit. Well, well, Morgan has always been one of our one of our leaders on the team, um, always a, a terrific performer in, in our events all throughout the year, um, no matter what the venue, whether it's at nationals or um, our conference tournaments or our, our weekly weekend events. Um, she's always one to uh, kind of put up a number, um, be the positive person in the locker room, uh, encouraging others on the team, uh, you know, showing that leadership and setting the example. And, oh, awesome. Just uh, one last question. Just touch on, you know, obviously you're going to the NCAAs again. Uh, what are your first thoughts about that? Um, boy, first of all, just completely relieved and uh, feel fortunate that we even have the opportunity. Uh, like I said, this was a tough year with some challenges. Uh, these these six girls that we've got on the team right now um, really persevered through maybe not their best season. And uh, the fact that they brought it together at the time when it mattered the most um, makes the trip to nationals that much more satisfying. It's uh, it's a great reward for the resilience of the show. All right, congratulations, Coach. All right, thank you.